Hey there! Bop Morgan's Costa Gardner, welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments, we'll talk about it for show. But right now, let's just get into the show. Mm. Nitrogen. We've talked a lot about nitrogen in the past and about how it's very different in nectar growth than it is in uh, synthetic NPK type growing. Today, we're talking a little more about that, about how, you know, in the past, we've talked about how you really, uh, the, it's a very uh, gentle form of nitrogen, but with certain genetics, even with that gentleness, I think you're going to find, and what Scott talks about in this video, that you're going to want to pull that back as you get uh, into bloom to get the flavor you're looking for. It's an interesting clip, even if you're not running those particular genetics, but I'd, I'd like you to watch the clip, and I'll talk to you after. You ever cut Medusa? Ever cut Medusa? Yeah. Up until the end when you well, cut everything. remember, like, with the cookies genetics, and these ones that okay. stay, they're nitrogen, they find nitrogen in the air, so they stay green all the yeah. way. We've talked about yeah. reducing nitrogen, like Medusa, the Athena's having a nitrogen protein amino acid, the Demeter's, which is chelating nitrogen naturally from the soil. Um, so a lot of those we start cutting out weeks three and four in bloom so uh -huh. the plant can actually go through a fade oh, and go okay. into the fall cycle. Because if they're always grabbing nitrogen, they stay green all the way to the end. And for some people, that flavor is pretty terrible. I mean, they taste the chlorophyll in the plant. Is that a vanishingly small group or is that common? Well, the cookies genetics alone, yeah. that right there, you put them into a place and then okay. the Gorilla Glues put them in their place. Okay. They all love nitrogen or they at least assimilate nitrogen really easily into their, sure. their plant or into the cells. So it, I wouldn't promote the reduction or removal of nitrogen in the veg cycle, especially in our line because it's so low. Yeah. Medusa at 2%, and that's in concentrate. So that 2% is in the bottle. When you dilute it down, it's yeah. like 0.0002. So yeah. you're not getting a ton of nitrogen, but for veg, you kind of need it for that development if you're trying to grow a nice, bushy, solid plant. So before bloom, I wouldn't cut them out unless your plant just, you front loaded nitrogen in your soil, you're using guanos and manures, then yeah, cut these things out and veg probably the week or two before you go into bloom because you have so much nitrogen already in your soil. But if you didn't front load your soil and you haven't powered up a super soil, I wouldn't get rid of any of these nitrogen sources that, until you get into one or two weeks of flowering if you want to remove them. Uh -huh. And even then, I still promote the use of like Athena's and you know a lot of these products sure. all the way into the mid to late bloom depending on your, your genetics. Same as the other thing, it's still food for a, what is, for a living you know, thing. For what the plant may not even exactly want, there might be a bacteria in SLF or a Photo Plus bacteria or a fungus that wants to use that. Sure. And they can take it, break it down, and then convert it into something more usable for the plant that would actually want. So, Would you also say that um, plants like us get used to stuff and when you give it to them and then take it away from them, they can be unhappy? A lot of them, yeah. There's, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you start you start building up their metabolism rate or their, their ability to eat, and then all of a sudden say, yeah, I decided you don't need that much anymore. They may not agree with your decision, and they might start failing or showing It's not a principle. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, okay. it's, uh, we like the, the full, you know, what do you call it, the... Uh, Balanced meal. Well, yeah, but, but when the, you go the to the buffet, the eggs here's the, the buffet, yeah, yeah. let the microbes do the work, and the plants kind of absorb what they need. Well, I, I guess that's maybe a lot of, a big point of it, too, is that we're, we're overthinking this. When the plant knows what it wants, and if we leave it, give it what it doesn't want, it won't eat it. But if we don't give it what it wants, it will be unhappy. Oh, yeah, especially yeah. if you've trained it to want. Yeah. It's like, here, you always want this, and then say, well, never mind, you don't want this. And they're like, oh, no, we still do. And I've seen plants fail. Especially with bloom chaos, because they're ramping up chaos and they're ramping up perk and they're ramping up this and ramp, 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 and like, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and stop. And the plant's like, well, once you hit the nitrous yeah. button, we're on full blast. And yeah. if you're gonna just slam on the brakes, we're not gonna make it to the finish it's line. It's like the Twinkies. Nobody appreciated Twinkies till they were gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not at all people. like that. That's just people are stupid. <laughs> People saw that as something they can make money on, some freaking garbage that can't expire. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, what do you think of that? Informative, entertaining, helpful? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show is pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.